Okay, hey everybody. Um, I wanted to touch base on how to use uh, Lightroom on your Chromebooks a little bit because I have a feeling that's where most of us are going to be, what we're going to be doing for the most part. Uh, the few of you who are using your PCs, you know how to do that. Uh, installing it might be a little bit of a challenge, but it shouldn't be too bad. The other thing that uh, those of you who want to do it from your phones, it's actually, yeah, maybe I can do a tutorial working that through as well. I'll see what I can do on that. But let's take a look at um, doing it from your Chromebook. Um, as a reminder, you guys should be working on those uh, slideshows. The your life thing that's due on Wednesday, um, that's going to be, uh, we're, we're making it one big slideshow now, kind of like we did with the, the research for the real estate. Um, that way you can see what everybody else does. So we get in here, let's let's open up a new tab. We're gonna go to Lightroom, and I'm, I'm sort of making this up as I go a little bit, because I don't do it this way, because I, I got a computer that I can do it with. So if you go to lightroom.adobe.com, it may ask you to sign in, it probably will. The first time, I have signed in already earlier, and it's um, automatically doing it because of the cookies and stuff. So if it does ask you to sign in, it's using your full school email address, and, um, yeah, the password that you made for Adobe. So that's eight characters with a capital letter and a number and a symbol. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. Um, when you're kind of messing with it, you've got your various pictures that you can you can uh, look at with your library that looks pretty similar to what you expect from uh, Lightroom that we use in school. I don't use this version of Lightroom that much, so I don't have anything since since those first kind of test portrait things that we did. Um, to bring one up, let's say we wanted to, let's, let me find something that's a little bit more real estate-y. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Here. So there's this, this picture here. And you can see it says edit this photo and then there's various share and stuff like that. Um, if you are working on this from your Chromebook, you'll notice you don't have anywhere near as many tools as you would from a, uh, from a computer. So specifically for the, uh, the real estate pictures, I had originally asked for you guys to do um, an HDR, which is where you take like a bright picture and a dark picture, and you merge the, merge the two together to get a wider dynamic range. You won't be able to do that, so what you're gonna wanna do is probably shoot your picture a little bit dark so that you can preserve those highlights and then just boost the shadows. So if I look here, I've got my histogram over on the right. I've got various kinds of um, profiles I can use to change the way things look. I actually tend to like portrait for, for real estate because it gives me a little bit of a wider range. Um, it's, it's not as contrasty, so I can build in the contrast if I want. So then for something like this, I'd probably just boost those shadows. Because one of the things you'll notice in a lot of those real estate pictures, when you're trying to sell something, it, you want it to look bright and happy and fun. So I boosted my shadows and I reduced my highlights a bit. And then maybe I could, once I've done that, I can bring the whole exposure up even a little bit more. And I'm always keeping an eye on my histogram here to make sure I'm not going beyond what I can get away with. And then maybe I take the highlight, the whites, just a touch to increase that contrast and a little bit of the blacks down. Make it pop just a bit. Um, you do have some effects. You can play with your clarity, which brings in that kind of micro contrast texture. It's a little bit slow. Um, and split toning, that's all you've got here. So once you've done, uh, one of the differences is you want to go to save and exit, and that'll save those adjustments. And then it takes a second to do that. Um, and then instead of when you want to share the picture out, you want to bring it to your slideshow or something like that, instead of hitting this button, which is what we would do on our computers, you want to hit this download button. And then it says the original, which is a, for me is a 24 megabyte NEF file, which I don't want. That's an icon electronic format. That's the RAW. And yours, <coughs> your RAW would be a CR2. That's a Canon RAW. You don't want that. That's what you would edit. You don't want to share those. You want the latest version, which is the JPEG with your edits. So you click on that. And then for me, it downloads it right to my, my downloads folder. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that will go in your Google Drive, but it goes somewhere. And probably, in, like, if you go to your slideshow, you want to bring it in there. Like, there's probably, like, a recent files or something like that that you can use to just drag it from Google uh, 
drive into your Google slideshow. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So for your real estate pictures, shoot, like once you get your composition right, shoot about, I don't know, five or six of them going from progressively darker to lighter. And then within that, you can um, find the one that's easiest for you to edit. So actually, you know what, let me, let me bring up Lightroom. This is my full Lightroom, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about there um, so that you can get a sense of what it's supposed to look like. I'm just resizing this for a second because I don't have, I don't have my real estate pictures in there, but the ones that I shot of the house, I do have a series of those. And I'll just stick my face into this, this little spot here. Okay, so stuff from March, two stars, kids fleeing the building. Let's see, more kids fleeing the building. Okay, so let's say we're gonna take one of these. And then I'm gonna, right now I've got it just filtering for one star or better, uh, two stars or better, but now I'm gonna go to um, this. See what I've got is I've got, let's make my thumbnails a little smaller so I can see. Here's my series of pictures within that in that room. I've got this one that's pretty bright. It's exposed for the shadows for the most part, or maybe even what the camera would just say, like this is a good kind of mid-ground thing. Then it gets a little darker, a little darker, a little darker. Uh, oh, that's, and then there's my, my HDR. So if you see like the dark one, if you look at the window here, that's a good exposure for outside, but everything else is garbage. So let's try that one. Let's see whether we can boost our shadows enough there. So, no, but I know that I've got that information, so if I keep going, if I bring the entire exposure up, then I can go into the highlights and bring them back down, which is the window. And then you lose some of your contrast when you do this kind of stuff. And we expect the window to be a little bit brighter than outside. That's just the way life works. So now I'm two and a half stops up. Um, I'm gonna bring my whites back up a little bit just to bring some of that contrast back in and then bring my blacks down just a touch. And that's, so that's me just doing a raw file of doing the full editing. And then that's the HDR version. It's pretty similar. Like the raw file, if you zoom in, see the colors aren't as good. Like it's, it's grainier and, and there's a certain amount of like um, noise and and stuff whereas if I look at the HDR because I didn't do that I didn't fake my way through it those are two photos that I've merged together it's much better colors but for our purposes since we can't do HDR um, we're kind of making do with what we've got try that on your on on your Chromebook that's probably your best thing so you've got a couple of things that are due this week Wednesday is going to be the um, the life slideshow, just pictures of things happening. And then your real estate stuff is due on Friday. So you can be shooting um, and editing all this week and then Friday turn in your real estate pictures. And we'll make a, a new slideshow for that, just like we did with these ones, um, so that people can see what everybody else is shooting, okay? I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with and hit me up if you have any questions. If you want, let me know if you're interested in doing like a Zoom, quick Zoom kind of State of the Union kind of meeting, uh, maybe Wednesday or something like that, like the class, just sit and talk and we'll hash stuff out. Today being Monday, the main thing I want you to do is just try to turn in a picture. Can you shoot something and make it come out on the, on the computer? Go from the camera to the Chromebook or the phone, whatever it is you're using, and get it to that thing. I don't care what it is, but it's something you shot today so that I know that you can get it from the camera to the web. Okay, see you around, guys.